Hi, I'm Hugh Breslin with Microchips FPGA Business Unit. In this video, we're going to have a look at getting back to factory defaults. First, we'll have a look at restoring a design for the FPGA and ENVM using a provided programming file. Then we'll have a look at updating the EMMC memory contents. Next, we'll have a look at restoring an FPGA design using a tickle script and then we'll have a look at programming the ENVM with the HSS using Soft Console. And finally, we'll have a look at programming the EMMC on that configuration. To get started, I've the PolarFire SOC GitHub organization open here. To download the programming files and Linux images, open up the PolarFire SOC documentation repository. In here, you can find a boards folder and in there, there's an MPFS Icicle Kit ES folder. There are two documents in here the Icicle Kit Software Development Guide and also an Updating the Icicle Kit document. If we open up the Updating the Icicle Kit uh, Design and Linux.md file in here and scroll down, there's a Programming Files and Linux Images Links section. In here, you can download the files for the SD card configuration and the EMMC configuration, along with compressed Linux images for Linux hosts and Windows hosts. I've downloaded the Flashbar Express programming file for the EMMC configuration and the Linux image for a Windows host zip file. In here, or once you download them, you get two zip folders, and if you extract their contents, in the Icicle Kit HSS EMMC folder, I have an Icicle Kit HSS EMMC.job file, which I can use with Flashbar Express. And then in the Core Image Minimal Dev Icicle Kit ES folder, I have a WIC file that I can program into the EMMC. To program with Flashbar Express, open it up and select New. Browse to where you downloaded the programming file and select the .job file. When you open it, give Flashbar Express a path to where it should actually generate the programming file project and then click OK. At this, at this stage, you should have your board connected to your PC along with the programmer and it should be powered on now. Now that Flashbar Express has detected my board and opened up the project, I can simply click Run to program the board. Now let's have a look at programming the EMMC. Now that we've programmed the FPGA fabric and the ENVM with the HSS using the Flashbar Express file, all we need to do is use the HSS to program the EMMC. Make sure you have a USB or micro USB cable connected up to the MSS micro USB port on the icicle kit and then power on your kit. When the HSS starts up, press a key to interrupt its boot. To list off all of the available services in the HSS, enter help. You can see here that this build of the HSS as the USBD MSC service. If I type in USBD MSC and hit enter, the service starts up and Windows detects my icicle kit connected to the PC and the EMMC is mounted as a flash drive. If you have an old if you have old programming in your EMMC, if you open up computer management, go to storage and then disk management you can see your PolarFire SOC flash drive mounted here. That's the 7.28 gigabyte uh, disk two. It's got three partitions and these all show up for me in my PC as three separate drives. And I'm going to be programming the EMMC using Win32 Disk Imager. And this also sees two drives. To fix this, I can manually delete each partition using um, computer management and then format the drive to have just one continuous FAT32 partition. 
So if I delete the second partition now, and then finally delete the third partition, I can right click on the unallocated space and create a new simple volume. And when the wizard opens, click next and allow all of the defaults. Once this is finished, Windows has formatted the EMMC to be a basic flash drive that it can work with. Now that that's complete, I can see that I have my new volume, which is one continuous partition, and it's been assigned drive letter F, which has been detected by Win32 Disk Imager. So now, if I select Browse in Disk Imager, and browse to where I downloaded my Icicle Kit images, I'm looking for the Core Image Minimal folder that I downloaded. If Win32 Disk Imager doesn't find the image, select the disk images in the bottom right and search for all files, and then select the WIC file. Click Open, and then click right to program the part. You can see some stats in the HSS console window to let you know how many bytes have been read and written. When you click right, you're going to get a, a notification to make sure that you want to write to this target. And once you confirm your drive letter is correct, click yes. Now that the write's complete, I'm going to click OK and exit Win32 Disk Imager. I'm going to unmount my Polar Fire SLC flash drive and give that a second to complete. And now that that's done, in my HSS console, I can see here that it says enter control C to quit. So once I do that, I can just type in boot to actually boot up the image that I've just placed in the EMMC. Now let's have a look at generating a design and programming the FPGA. To generate a design, I've gone to the Polar Fire SOC GitHub organization and I've downloaded the Icicle Kit Reference Design repository. This repository contains tickle scripts that can be executed in Libro to generate a design for the Icicle Kit. When I downloaded the repository, I extracted it and I have an EMMC tickle script and an SD card tickle script. The default design used on the Icicle Kit in the factory programming is the EMMC configuration. To use these scripts, open up Libro 12.5 or greater and open the Execute Script dialog, either from selecting Project, Execute Script, or by selecting Control U on your keyboard. Browse to where you downloaded the design creation script and then select the script that you'd like to run. So again, in this case, the EMMC tickle script. And then click Run to generate the design. Now that the script has completed running, you can see here, in the IO attributes of the Constraint Manager, Libro has already imported IO constraints for the different peripherals of the MSS. It's also already generated timing constraints for this design. And if I have a look, I have two smart designs created. One for the PCIe, and the other for the actual MSS base design. Now that they're complete, in the Design Flow tab, I can select Generate Bitstream, right-click, and select Run to run the design flow. Now that the bitstream has been generated, I can program my device by double-clicking Run Program Action with the device connected and powered on. Now let's have a look at programming the ENVM with the HSS. To do this, I've got Soft Console 6.4 open with the Heart Software Services project imported. 
I've already configured my system to build the HSS using MSYS2, and if you'd like to know how to do this, watch our video titled What is the HSS? I've built the default configuration for the EMMC, and I have a default folder here with my hss.elf file. To program the ENVM, select the External Tools and Soft Console, and select the Polar Fire SOC Program Non-Secure Boot Mode 1. When you do this, Soft Console generates a bitstream with the HSS ELF file in it and programs it to the ENVM. Now that Soft Console has finished programming the device, I can see the HSS has started up for me on MMUART0. Now let's have a look at updating the EMMC memory content. To do this, I've gone to the PolarFire SOC GitHub organization and open up the PolarFire SOC documentation repository. In here, go into the boards folder and there are three targets listed and the last one is the MPFS Icicle Kit ES. If you select this, there are two documents available. One is the Icicle Kit software development guide and the other is the updating the Icicle Kit document. If you open up this folder and then open the updating Icicle Kit design and linux.md file, if you scroll down, there's a programming files and Linux images section. Here, you can download Linux images for the EMMC and SD card targets for Linux and Windows hosts. In my case, I've, I've downloaded the Linux image for Windows host zip file and extracted it. To actually program the EMMC, open up M M M MSS MMUART0 and power on your kit. When the HSS starts up, press a key to interrupt its boot. You can enter help to actually list off all of the available services that this HSS is built with. And I want to run the USBD MSC service, which mounts the EMMC as a flash drive. So if I type in USBD MSC, the service starts and Windows detects my icicle kit as a flash drive. Now one issue can happen where Windows detects multiple partitions on the EMMC if it's already been programmed. So for example, I'm programming with Win32 Disk Imager and this has now detected that there are two drives available. If I open up Computer Management and in Storage and then Disk Management, if I scroll down, I can see here I have a 7.28 GB disk mounted as disk 2 with three partitions and 6.21 gigabytes of unallocated space. This is my PolarFire SOC flash drive, and I can delete any of the currently existing partitions and then create a new simple FAT32 volume that I can then image with my Linux image. So I'll go through and delete all of these partitions now. I'll just delete the final partition. And now that all of the space on the drive is unallocated, if I right click and select new simple volume, and when the wizard opens, if you click next and run through selecting all of the defaults, and then click finish to create the volume, and give Windows a few seconds to finish doing this. Now that that's completed, I've got my new volume F, which has also been detected as the sole device in the system by Win32 Disk Imager. So now that I've finished doing that, and I've only got one partition on the PolarFire SOC device, under Image File in Win32 Disk Imager, I can select Browse, and then navigate to where you downloaded your Linux image to. If you don't see any images listed, in the bottom right, where it has Disk Images listed here, Select all files, and then you're programming the WIC file down to your device. Select open, and to write the image, click write, confirm you have the right target selected, and then select yes to program the image.
Now that the image has been written successfully, I'm going to click OK and then exit Win32 Disk Imager. I'm going to unmount my Polar Fire SOC flash drive and give that a second to complete. And in the HSS console, it says here that you can enter Control C to disconnect or quit. So if I do that now, my flash drive is disconnected and I'm returned to the HSS console. To boot up Linux with the image I just programmed, I can just enter boot and the HSS will load the image for me.